Hello and welcome to uh, another explanation video for workbook one. This time we're looking at the challenges seven and eight, which are reading comprehension challenges. So the first challenge is a throwback to autumn term where we did the great topic all about the very fire of London. It uh, starts with a poem about the very fire of London. A fire began. On Pudding Lane, a fire began. Into the street, the baker ran. He did not know which way to turn. He saw the buildings start to burn. They were made of wood and straw, so the fire spread more and more. The wind was strong, it blew and blew, and so the fire grew and grew. Through the streets, the fire flew, it burnt the bridge and the church too. Most people escaped the next day. They got into boats and rowed away. For four days, the fire burnt. Lots of important lessons were learnt. New houses were built of bricks. The city of London, they did fix. Okay, so there are nine questions about the text. So where did the fire begin? What were new houses made of? What type of text is this? What did the baker see in the street? What were the houses made of? How did most people escape? What is a baker? How long did the great fire last for? And why might the fire have started in a bakery? And then wants you to match the rhyming words. So we've got blue day turn began. And then which words out of these are the rhyming words? Away, ran, grew and burn. And then section B, tick three words in each line that rhyme. Okay, so tick the words that rhyme. So we've got straw, claw, paw and start. So which of those words rhyme? Okay, and then challenge A is um, a reading comprehension all about coastal holidays. So it's like a, almost like a holiday magazine almost like an advert, holiday brochure, all about different coastal holidays in the UK. So there's a section about Blackpool, section about Cornwall, section about Tenby, section about Sutherland. Okay, and then there are some questions about coastal holidays. So number one, what is a coast? Number two, is Tenby in England? Number three, where is Sutherland? Number four, what does the UK stand for? Number five, what can you do at the harbour in Sutherland? Number six, which holiday is the cheapest deal? Number seven, why do you think the brochure has lots of pictures? Number eight, why do you think people may not want to come home again after a holiday? And number nine, which coastal holiday would you most like to go and why? So then section A, match the questions to the answers. So questions like, why is the UK surrounded by sea? And then which one of these answers does it match to and section b tick the box with the correct answer so what can you build on the beach in blackpool what hotel could you stay at in blackpool how much is a holiday to cornwall per person in cornwall can you look at the sea from the cliffs or the you tick the right answer so i'm saying tick the right answer but again like the other work that you've been doing i do expect it to be written up neatly into your uh, your writing workbook okay thank you and good luck with these reading comprehensions